Welcome back to Farm 6 of the Vine Blade. Last time we started Roy's adventure, Al got a ton of experience, and we defeated some bandits. Now it's going to take the fight to burn in Chapter 2. The Princess of Burn. There is a small village on the border of Frey and Burn. This is where Roy is to meet the mercenary band that Ellie would hired. Just east of the village is a small castle occupied by Burns forces. At the time Roy reaches the village, the castle is in an outright panic. Roy has yet to realize that this confusion going on in the castle will spread, engulfing the entire continent of Aleve in chaos. It's time for chapter 2. Princess of Burn. I got the burn music. Uh, <laughs> oh gee, I wonder who the boss of this chapter is going to be. All I want to know is what happened to Princess Guinevere. Yes, Captain Milady. I said she was in her room this morning, but she simply vanished. You told me that already, you buffoon. I want excuses. I so encounter you can't understand that. Oh, I, uh... Our force are mobilized and we got full scale war this year. Now we need to focus on the battle the princess is missing. Naturally, you'll take full responsibility for her disappearance. I never should have let her highness come to the border to begin with. I'll return to burn and inform the king of this matter. Try not to cause a panic, but I can't promise your life if the princess is found. Trust you'll take every measure to locate her as soon as possible. Yes, Captain. Yeah, she's pretty, um. <laughs> yeah, she's definitely got some authority though. So, is Princess Guinevere secure? Yes, Commander. She's on constant surveillance in the cellar. Good. Don't let her escape. Commander? Are you sure this is a good idea? Of course I'm sure. The younger sister of Sif, King Sifiel. We should get a healthy sub turning over to one of Burns' enemies. Lord to one's king? Bah! What a worthless notion. The world is ruled by neither king nor queen. It's ruled by gold. Yes, indubitably, Commander. There has been a snag, shall we say. Hmm, what do you mean? I just received the report. It seems that Princess Guinevere's lady in waiting has escaped. What? You lout? Why did you say so earlier? Find out this is a dollar go away. Lord Roy, this is the location. So I supposed to meet the mercenaries? Yes, though it seems they aren't here yet. Wait, who's that? Somebody's coming this way. Careful there. Oh forgive me, I'm in such a hurry. No need for apologies. Are you hurt? No, I'm fine. Thank you, good sir. Very well done. Are you from Lysia by chance? I am. And the son of Marcus Frey. Oh, St. Elamine, thank you for guiding me to this boy. Pardon? Please, need your help to rescue my mistress. What happened? My name is Ellen. I'm a cleric of St. Elamine. My mistress and I came from Bern to seek an audience of the Lords of Lysia. I have a commander rude <laughs> of the castle east of your travelers. We are captured and prisoned by own, my own countrymen. Lord Roy, you must avoid unnecessary entanglements of them. I can't neglect the noble of Burn who wants to speak with the Lords of Lysia, and again, we can't simply charge to enemy territory either. Wait, who's that? There's the wench! Over here, boys, get the girl. Oh, they say dead alive. Oh dear. Well, man, it's the provoked hostilities. I don't think we have any choice now. We won't listen even if we did, I'm sure. But no matter, let me witness all you've learned about tactics in Ostia. Alright, everyone, I'm gonna charge the castle. Sister Ellen, you should find a place to hide. No, I'll come with you. I cannot fight, but I can heal wounded allies. But well, I'm the one that got you tangled up in this mess. Please let me do what I can to help. Okay, but just stay behind us so you aren't hurt. Certainly, thank you for your concern. Chapter 2. So we have a village here. It's an armor slayer. I'm gonna use said armor slayer to kill Rude over here. Who is... kind of threatening? Uh, without the armor slayer, it's gonna take forever to kill, so... Uh, there's an armory there, still some basic weapons, but I do want to stock up. Mark's gonna be one to do that because it's good movement, and he doesn't necessarily need the experience. Um, down here we have some soldiers. They're very weak. <laughs> yeah, they basically have no stats. They use lances, but... Even with a sword, there's still not a threat. And we probably want swords because we have some hand axe and iron axe wielding fighters down here as well. So, Super Allen will do pretty good here. Maybe we'll just have him one run this one. He 
seems like a good idea. But yeah, weapon shock gets kind of weird because lances aren't the best, and their hit rates are kind of shaky. Swords generally can beat them most of the time, but the extra defense can be nice. So we got this guy who's kind of annoying, but I think Lance does pretty good against him. Yeah, he does. He would also be in range of a hand axe, but I don't think it's bad because we also have Wolf who can double and chip him down pretty well. So there you go. Yeah, we can do this actually. To keep Wolf safer, probably. Let's see. Yeah, Wolf's not in range. When we range of a soldier, he's probably not going to do anything. I've also Wolf's taken the action, but. Uh, he has good defense. He doesn't get doubled, so why not? Put him like. He's not in range of this, definitely. Hmm, range here. Alright, like I said, Marcus is gonna go over here. Armed units have nearly impenetrable defenses. For some weapons like the sword can pierce their armor. I'm sure you can get better use of it than us. Please take it. An armor slayer, of course. And yeah, don't sleep on this weapon. The armor slayer is really good in this game. He might, so it has 24 might against armored enemies. 85 hit. He's 11, but... Oh well. And Roy, we probably don't want him in range of enemies. Because... It won't explode, but it won't do much either. Now let's talk about our two new units who I haven't equipped, but I just wanted to wait until now. There's Mernus. So he doesn't fight. He's basically a walking convoy. So if you need items, go up to him, pull out the items, you're good. That's basically his utility. It's kind of hard to rank how good he is because he's kind of strange in this game. Um, you need to deploy him to have the convoy, but you can still send items to the convoy even if he isn't deployed, unlike FE7. And in FE7, he's forced... He's kind of forced to deployed, I guess? He doesn't take up a deployment slot, is the thing. You need him to, to actually store items in your convoy, and you can take items out of the convoy. But this is FE6. So also, he starts with movement, 5 movement. He has 25 cons, so he can't be rescued. So yeah, like I said, his utility is helping is basically a walking convoy. He has growth rates, but the problem is, is that he can't fight, so the only way he can get experience is by dodging, and that's 1 XP each time. So, yeah. Um, and this is growth rates are 100% HP, 0% strength, 50% skill, 50% speed, 100% luck, 20 defense and fight for us. So yeah, he's probably not going to level up, but hey, he has growth rates. Now we have Ellen, our first healer, and healers heal, as you would expect. Um, they don't fight though, until they promote. Ellen's probably one of the weaker ones of Portrait. Her base stats are kind of atrocious. Only one magic, zero defense. The staff rank isn't terrible though, at D rank. Um, her growth rates aren't the greatest either. She only has 45% HP, 50% strength, 30% skill, 20% speed, 70% luck, 5 defenses, 100% rest. I think the idea is that she has a low base magic, but her magic growth isn't actually that bad, so she might actually be a good magic stat. Magic is actually really nice at stuff in this game. It does more than just heal more HP, but yeah, she's kind of hard to use. Also, she's not mounted, which the next healer is, so yeah. But she'll be nice for this early game, at least, because we have no one better. So yeah, let's put her close, but not too far, of course. And is going to stay with us. So here come the enemies, some of them are rushing us. They're going for Lance. Oh, nice, nice crit. And I killed every tank at that. And that's a pretty good one. He's also doing quite well. Well, we gave a lot of experience to Alan last time, so... Here's a hand axe. He doesn't hurt, which is good. Ooh, have we got hit? It should be around here somewhere. Shanna, check around and try to find the soldiers for right, will you? Sure! 
Subic man, who's our client this time? Asfre, one of the noble families of Lycia. Marcus's son is going to join the other armies of Lycia. We're going up against Burn then. It's that way. Finally, I put worthy in my axe. Let, <laughs> let's show them what they're made of. Burn, eh? This would be easy. I can tell that. We had best tread lightly. I think I found them. Looks like they already caught up in a skirmish. What? The fighting started already? Let's get a move on then. Time to earn our pay. So we got those dudes. Um, before we talk about them, let's try figure out what's happening here. Unfortunately, we don't double because we didn't gain too much speed. We could do this, but it's kind of dangerous. I guess to it killed. I guess maybe I can use the lance. Yeah, this should work. I need to heal him after this, though. Probably. Now we can do this. Kill him off. He's on a fort, so they're not gonna get past him. And it's yet another level of platform. They're definitely turboing this man. Even more strength. Speed is amazing too. He's a powerhouse. So yeah, they... He has one true range, but he's not in range of anyone. I guess you can heal. Lance could be useful later. And there you go. That's how... That's what healing is like in this game. You can like shoot maybe this guy with Volt, but... It'll be in range of a hand axe, I don't like the sound of that, so... And yeah, once again, keep a row safe. Come on this near. And Marcus is gonna go shopping. So for Marcus, I wanna buy an Iron Lance and a Javelin. And the rest of the gonna go to combo. So I wanna buy four Iron Swords. Seems overkill, but Iron Swords are really nice in the other games, so... And I want to buy two Iron Lances. And one Javelin, I think. And that should be good. Alright. Well, it's not going to do anything. Alright, let's talk about our new units here. First of all, let's talk about the leader, Beak. So, he's level 5 Merc. Uh, he has extremely good base stats. He can double pretty reliably. He has also a pretty high con stat, which allows him to use blades without too much penalty. Um, his base stats are good, his growth rates are on the lower end, but that doesn't matter. On hard mode at least. On normal mode at least. On normal mode he's serviceable throughout the whole game. Despite settler growth rates, on hard mode he kind of falls off because settler growth rates will impede his ability to one round later on. I think he's still got potential in hard mode. If you put enough love into him. As for growth rates, 90% HP, 40% strength. 40% skill, 30% speed, 35% luck, 20 defense, 15 res. So not the worst graphics in the world, but yeah, definitely noticeably worse than some of the other units. Next up we have the Axe Brothers. They're kind of different actually. Starting off with Wade. He has good strength, okay speed. Unfortunately, it's not enough to double reliably at this point. Um, he comes with a hammer, but a 45 hit. You could try using that against the boss, but I doubt you'll have fun doing that. And he yeah, only free skill too, so his accuracy is very shaky. Um, in terms of growth rates, unfortunately it doesn't get much better for Wade. His base stats are kinda questionable, and his growth rates are 75% HP, 50% strength, 45 skill, 20% speed, 45% luck. 30 defense, 5 res. So he's kind of slow, unfortunately. He's not going to be doubling reliably, despite good strength. Yeah, he's kind of a mediocre unit, to be honest. Here's a lot, though. I think he's slightly better. His base stats aren't, are probably better. He has a good speed stat. Good speed base for a fighter, at least. Uh, here are his weapons. Here's a steel axe. Only 50 hit. And hand axe, also only 50 hit. A D rank. His growth rates are a bit better in my opinion. He has 80% HP, 30% strength, 30% skill, 35% speed, 30% luck, all your defense 15. As, so yeah, his speed isn't that much better, but at least he has a good speed base, a better speed base, and a better growth. So I'd say he's 
If you want to want to train one of these two fives, I go with a lot. Because being able to reliably double definitely helps a lot. And finally, haha, <laughs> I've been waiting for this one. Shanna. So Shanna is a Pegasus Knight. So she can fly, she doesn't have to worry about terrain costs. It can be very useful to transport the armor slayer to the boss if need be. Oh, but Marcus, I don't think we need to. Uh, flying is just so good in this game. There's so much cool things you can do with it in this game that helps out so much. Which is why I value a unit like Shanna, even though her combat isn't the greatest. Uh, as the only 4 base strength, but at least she has a good 12 base speed, so she's going to be doubling pretty reliably. She has a Slen Lance, which is a good hit, I guess. Well, very low might. She only has 8 attack. She has a growth rate. Uh, this is the funny part. She has 45% HP, 30% strength, 55% skill, 60% speed, 60% luck, 10 defense, and 25 res. Uh, while you're using her, I guess we'll talk about why her growth rates are kind of funny to me. But yeah, I consider my second favorite problem because of that story I'm about to tell. Anyway, there's a lot of enemies coming up, and I would like to give Shanna some experience, but this is way too dangerous for her, I think. Maybe this guy we can set a kill on? No, because this guy's gonna attack her. It's gonna hurt because he has 13. 14 attack, actually. Nah. He lives, but it's a bit sketch. And also, there's this guy, too. Ooh. Yeah, combined they don't kill, but like I said, it's a bit sketch. Also, there's another one here, too, so. Yeah, let's play it safe. We're gonna put Wade on the front lines because why not? Because he actually doubles the soldiers at least. And he starts closer to that lot too, so. So basically, you're gonna have. <laughs> why? <laughs> it's not the end of the world though. I guess maybe we can do this. Not a bad idea, we could do that. I'll de go on this fort with the iron sword. And then we're gonna have Shanna javelin this idiot. There we go. So I honor I accidentally saw the kill Shanna, so there we go. That was way bad. And Locke can come help out as well. So yeah, Wade shouldn't double this guy. Yeah, his hit rates are atrocious. <laughs> Very atrocious. At least this guy's a steel axe, so I think he gets doubled. <laughs> wow. This is FE this is why people don't like FE6. 70 percent tend to hits tend to not hit very much. But yeah. He gains speed, so I think this is on one round. Yep, definitely. It could be kill set for Shanna, but like I said, there's so many enemies. There's an archer too, and archers do for the damage against Pegasus Knights. I think he gets close to one-shotting her. Alright, what are we doing with this guy? Do you one round? Yes you do, so we can do that. Yeah, Alan on, a f on fire today. Alright, this isn't... This is something alright. Could go for this. Let me count this guy's move. It's five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you can definitely reach. I guess I could. If I go here, I can rescue. Then I can't drop her. So. Yeah, this guy's a skillax, so. Let's just kill him with deep. Let's just play it safe. No need to risk Shanna's life here. We'll keep Wade on the floor even though he's bad. <laughs> it could be more kill starts for Shanna. Keep Shanna here or far, far away from the archer. Should work. He needs Iron Axe, but. Um, yeah, let's make a move on him. And 
mods called too. Um, yeah, because I bought the items, they went to the convoy, so now we can start dis distributing some of them. Yeah, Mark is going to go to level the armor set. It's probably going to be Deke because of boss. Yeah, I think we'll wait for it. Mm, good dodge right away. At least he's doing it. <laughs> like, God. This guy, man, he's blind. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. This is definitely the opposite of my field recording yesterday, where he actually was killing so much. It was coming soon. Yeah, hit that, we're gonna heal. Yeah, the archer's still a thing, so we can't use Shun, unfortunately. We do have Lance coming up, but... Let's see, so... He wants an Iron Lance. I'm gonna go trade that. And then... You want... Chav. Probably another Iron Sword. We need can't away. Didn't buy any bows, don't feel the need. Hmm, what are we doing? <laughs> Let's just kill this guy. This is what we're talking about. Deke's so good. So... What are we doing? Um, yeah, we've got some javelins. Still got the iron bow. So yeah, we can't send in Shen to get XP. Unless we can rescue her, but we can't. Yeah, let's just keep moving forward. For the best. Let's just keep blocking these guys. And this one goes with deep. And he gets destroyed. And oh wait gets hit finally. And he hits. Finally. <laughs> And now they're gonna gang up on him. Well, luckily, Javans aren't very good either, so... And there's the Archer, so... We could probably... We have more units here, so maybe we can kill him... And... I don't know what this shot do. Yeah, that's not one of them. This guy's weakened. That axe dude does. Um, how well does she do? It's a bit sketch. But we can risk her. Yeah, she gets hit. That's another kill. I definitely want to get kills with Shanna. Like I said, she is one of my favorite units. I guess we can talk about the funny thing now. So her 30% strength growth, for me it's not a problem, I can get strength on her no problem at all. But my brother is a different story, on all three of his previous playthroughs, he hasn't got Shanna above 9 strength, even promoted, so it's uh, <laughs> very questionable indeed. Now let's see, let's do a rescue. That actually might work. Now we can heal up. Good. And we can even trade with the uh, Iron Lance. Okay. 
Okay, so we have to use one two range. Maybe Wade's in danger. I'll retreat him just in case he is. I'll put Lot here. Hit the Ionax. Next turn we're gonna try obliterating them. Maybe get some kills with Shana as well. We also have the Cavs here too who could use the experience well. Okay. So yeah, next turn's gonna be interesting. But yeah, this enemy play is probably gonna be very boring, just gonna be dodging some javelins. Okay, so let's see, can we get a kill with Shana here? How much damage does she do on her own? We also have the Iron Lance now, so almost a one round. Um, put it here. Oh, it should be one rounds, pretty reliably too. It's around one rounds of this guy too. I think we'll do this guy. Very good. Making use of that high speed. She has a low con, which means she gets weighed down by a lot of weapons, but it's not too big of an issue. Uh, let's see, where's my boy? Alan. Pulverize this man. Very good. And. Uh, let's have Lance take on this guy. A1 Lance. Gets hit though, but no. Yeah, that guy's a javelin, but it's not gonna do much to Shanna. This is probably useless, but I'll let's heal it. Alright, cool. Um... Yeah... Um... I'm in range of that guy. But, uh... Actually, yeah, I guess I'll just have Alan kill him next time. I can put you there. Uh... Yeah, let's have Marcus on the floor. This looks good, I say. Let's do this. So all our units are together now. He goes for... Well, actually, that makes sense. He does have a sword equipped, I guess. And he's injured. This should be a one round. For... Shanna. And what do you do? Very good. Um, it's in range of two other enemies, though. And Archer? Yeah, that's quite a lot. I'll just risk him afterwards. One round for Shanna. Again. The, uh, the early game, even if a uh, unit has low stats, at least the other game has weak enemies. And that's a pretty decent level up. No strength, but A. She needs the other stats too. I guess we can also calculate his chance of death too. I don't think he dies. A oh, nice crit. <laughs> As he did gain defense once, the axe only did 5 damage to him. Because he had 13. Does 6 actually. The smirk does 14. So he does 7. 6 and 7. And this guy, yeah, he lives. He's fine. I can also put Lance in range of the uh, Merc as well. Let's do that. Alright. And 
sword. Marcus can go ahead and trade the armor set to Duke. What could be useful? Wars could be useful. Uh, probably not. Uh, oh yeah, we can also do this. I Lord Roy of House Frey. Who is it? Who is it that's asking? Name's Deke. You should have heard about me from an older man named Melinus. So you're the leader of the Mercenary Band. Just a small company, really. Sorry, late. I didn't think the fine would start so soon. Well, that was a complication. You took it the wrong way, we don't blame you. Actually, quite the contrary. My boys are excited for a chance to show off their skills. Brilliant, sounds like you're just the caliber of fighters we need. Enough chit chat then, let's wrap things up. Oh yeah, I didn't mention this about Deke, but uh, he looks kinda like Zora from One Piece, according to my brother at least. Which uh, I can see. May I'll put a, may I'll put a uh, comparison on screen like right about now. Anyway. Uh, wait. <laughs> Go ahead. Wait, that we made this that kind of a detail, not gonna lie. Yeah. Oh, 1% crit. Maybe that wasn't the smartest idea on my part. Mercs do have slightly high crit rates because they have good skill stats. But this is a kill for Shanna. Hmm. She needs some help. Luckily, we've got help. A nice hit, too. Now, the question is what do we go for here? We go for 292s or do we do go for 182? I I feel like the 92s are the way to go. And nice dodge too. And yet another kill for Shanna. We heal the Lance again. We can maybe set up another kill for Shanna as well. Against the fighter that's coming up. Although that guy doesn't move, so maybe I'll just use Lance. Oh, Alan, sorry. Actually... Yeah, let's just do this. It's okay if Alan kills the fighter. And, <laughs> yeah, no, I'll look for Alan. More strength. This guy's just... Muscles. Incarnate. Um... We need the Deke up here, so I'm just gonna move him. I'm also gonna need the Roy up here as well. So, so yeah, we need Deke to take on Rude. He's very rude indeed. Yeah, that's to be expected. Oh man, 16 damage. So much. He could maybe take on Rude, but he doesn't have as much skill as Deke does, so his accuracy is gonna be very shaky. So that's why I want to use D. And we'll risk him up here. We don't want to put him in range of a jab and so we'll do that. Roy probably wants to be a rescue drop too. Alright, good. Um, do any of these units need to do anything? I don't think so. We already distributed the items with Merlinus, so we should be good. Alright, this should be a one round, yeah. And he doesn't die two in two hits. Curse it all. Just when I thought things had finally turned my way. And yeah, getting the kill with Shannon, this guy's gonna be hard because he has so much defense. Oof. Greed can only bring you an ill fate. Yeah, greed is very rude indeed. Here's a deep level up. It's not bad, speed's not bad for him. And Roy's one space away. Oh well. Also, I forgot. Nah, I didn't forget to get an iron sword. Another thing you can do with Marcus actually is. Where's the weight? There he is. You can give Marcus an iron axe for the next map. What's up, Armor Knights? And he can one round. Oh, sorry. There's some Armor Knights next map. He can one round them with the iron axe, I think, so that could be useful. But anyway, Roy just needs to see and we're done here. Lord Roy! There was a woman locked in the cellar. I must see Ellen's mistress, Springer Hill. Yes, my lord. Highness, Ellen, I'm so relieved to your well. Put yourself in such danger running off like you did. I'm worried myself sick about you. I'm sorry, your highness, but I couldn't leave you in that dank cellar. 
Alright, that's all for Ellen. It's thanks to you that I'm safe now. I mean, you're dead. May I ask your name? I'm Roy, son of Elio and Marcus Ray. It's a pleasure. As for myself... Highness, I you you should? Yes, Ellen, it is fine. My name is Guinevere. Guinevere? That's the name of the Princess of Bern. Yes, that is I. What? This is a trap, wasn't it? Mernus, hold. I beg your pardon, Lord Roy, but... I wish to hear her out. Give her a chance, will you? <laughs> As you will. You truly are Princess Guinevere from Bern? Yes, truly. I cannot blame you for dying me, however. Maybe you are the Princess of Bern. <laughs> or maybe you aren't. I can see from your actions and dress you are at least of high status. If you are indeed Princess Guinevere, however, there's one thing I don't understand. Ellen told me you intended to meet the Lords of the Lycian League. Yes, that is correct. Why, if you are the sister... Why, if you are the sister of the King of Bern? I want to find a peace way to end the war. If I can speak to the Lycian clan so I'm certain we can come to a solution. Brother instigate this war. Is it in your power to stop it? At the very least, I wish to do everything I can. No, I must do everything I can. I see. For the time being, come with us to meet the Lycian League armies. I want to see what Lord Hector thinks of this affair. You will allow me to come leave? Yes, if there's any possibility to avoid further bloodshed, you must try. That is not how small the chance. Thank you. I truly am in your debt. So, that went well. Shandon gets strength, but a. Hey. I'm okay with that. And a Wade was blind. <laughs> I think I know what I'm going to make the title of this episode then. So next time, I'm going to recruit one of my other favorite units and also meet Ambush Spawns for the first time. Oh boy. So yeah, I'll see you guys then.